bar um, very welcome to ask questions, give us a sign and then get a microphone. Maybe I can start with the first question. Um, the film is set in 1967 and um, can you explain to us or describe a little um, what attracted you to create a film that narrates a story of a time before you were even born? Um, my uh, interest in, in this period that I was not born yet um, come, is also uh, very personal. Uh, my parents are from Bethlehem, um, and Bethlehem was occupied in 1967, and that was a very important year for my family um, because it was the year that uh, I mean, changed everything. Um, for the second time, it's the second uh, wave of, of Palestinian refugees um, and so the family became split. Those who were outside were stuck outside. Those who were inside lived under a military occupation. And it was a time period that I kept hearing about all my life. Every other just regular daily conversation, they always referred to uh, before 1967 when, when we used to do this, da da da, da. The after 1967, the, you know, it was sort of this, became this marker in their lives. So I kept hearing this repetition of 67. Um, so it was a year of, of tragedy, but also at the same time, it was a year of those years of hope all over that existed everywhere in the world um, that I was interested in, interested in going back to explore um, with you know, uh, civil rights movements, anti-colonialist movements, um, everything that was happening in the world, um, which is also, I have to say, it's my fantasy of that period because I didn't live it. But when I, when I believe that people had a lot of hope um, regular people felt that they could do something to change their their lives, um, and they believed that. And the Palestinian movement, like many movements, they were connected to each other very much. They were not; se they didn't see themselves as isolated or separated. They saw themselves as part of a a greater change that was happening, and that was that was true for for for, uh, for Palestinians. So I. I was interested in, in sort of exploring that and that, that kind of hopefulness that existed um, and, and to keep the film in that period also before things changed, many things went wrong. We all know the story after of all the things that, that went wrong with, with corruption, with this, with that. I mean, we're living that today, but I wanted to stay in the, in the period before that. <laughs> In the center of the film is a boy and uh, his mother. And when did this uh, come to your mind to um, focus on this relationship or on the son himself in the center? Um, I liked the idea of a, of a child and mother, um, a sort of coming of age story at a time of independence when a child is also looking for his own independence. Um, from their own family when he's between, I mean, in the case of Tariq, between boyhood and manhood when he's forced into a, a situation, he's still a child, but he's now living a situation that he never asked for and maybe forced to grow up very quickly. But this boy is different than other kids and he, he keeps his childish, hopeful naivete. He's the kind of character I, I like that he has so many questions that nobody can answer. Um, he's not satisfied with the answers he gets and he decides to do things um, and take action in his own.